<laughs> he likes to play. It's better for business yeah. to be old school. I, I saw that motherfucker got a Blackberry, iPod, <laughs> <laughs> toothbrush, satellite. Woo! Welcome to the Bub Army YouTube channel. Paul Mooney is. Uh, go get that guy. I love him. He is hilarious, man. Um, Paul Mooney is at the Tampa Improv all weekend long. Uh, probably, I'm assuming two shows. Probably tonight, two shows on Saturday, and a lot of times they'll do two on Sunday as well, or at least one on Sunday. Is Barney Rubble with them? No, 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 no. The, the, so, uh, I think his name's Sloan. He's another comedian. Yeah. He oh, was Sloan. The, the dude yeah. was with him last time. The the black guy. The cool all right. Dude. Now get red for Sloan and get Sloan. Uh, get Sloan some headphones as well, so Sloan can monitor. I remember Sloan was kind of funny last time too. He's great. At the NWA shirt on, the cleaners this week. What's up, Paul Mooney? Hey, 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 what's up, dude? How are you? But I'm sorry it's so early for you, my man. You got to oh, sell no. some tickets. Oh, no, no, they they came last night with the news. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what would you say? No, we, we just shot him, dude. The messenger. We shot him. <laughs> Paul said, fuck Bubba. <laughs> fuck Bubba. No, it was all on Howard. They said Howard takes off on Friday. He does. He yeah. does. I said, if I had a $2 billion, I'd take off Monday through Friday. Exactly. <laughs> You're like, man, what's that guy even fucking working for? If somebody gave you a half a billion dollars, Paul, would you still be on the road working? <laughs> Oh, yeah. What would you be doing? Oh, if no, you... no, I'd still do. Uh, that's you no know, comedy. It's, I love do. You just say, do, listen, you know what? I'm doing yeah. a show tonight and I ain't charging nothing to get in. Drinks no, on me, no, bitch. No, I wouldn't be that crazy. No, <laughs> no. no the, the, the more money you get, the less you want to give them. That's only, true. Only the poor give. You're right. You know what? The rich don't give very they fucking much, give, do they? They ain't going to give you shit, but a hard time. <laughs> Sloan, what are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. Good to be back here. Been on the road. You must be doing pretty damn good. Mooney must you must be funny because, you know, Paul. Paul's tough, and you're still you're still making the cut. So you must be you must be at least pulling your weight. Yeah. Yeah, I try to do it, man. But it's good to be back here with you guys. I feel like family. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a raisin in a bowl of milk right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it's hey, all we're, not doing, we're not doing the dog chat, man, my <laughs> We're not Rachel. <laughs> We're not Dwayne the dog Chapman. If my sister was dating a black guy, I wouldn't be calling him the N word. I'd be like, that's my brother, man. You know, <laughs> make sure his family ain't stealing my shit. But we're cool, dog. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah that, that, that guy's in trouble, man. He's you can't cut it any other way than that, man. But you know what? I'm tired of America. See, America wants to blame, put it off like it's some small town in Mississippi. It's this character here. It's America. Everybody's responsible for him. America breeds these people. They're coming from somewhere, right. along with the the child molesters. America is breeding this this freak scene. Hey, now, Paul, what well, do you hey, think? I'm not responsible for any of no, that. Yeah, I'm not responsible I'm not for him. He's, oh, yeah. the, he's the one with the Bush fucking photo on his desk. No, no, no. America is responsible for it. Now, it's Paul, true. what do you think about uh, what do you think about like Earthquake and Cat Williams? They're on Howard's show, and you, they they're a couple black comedians. And Howard talented asked, guys, too. very talented guys. And and Howard asked them, "Hey, listen, because Howard loves you." And, and 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 actually brought your name up. Say, what do you two cats think about uh, Paul Mooney wanting to you know not do the N word anymore? And they went off on you. Well, and, of course it did because I'm not doing it anymore. Right. They didn't do that when I was doing it. I was the devil when I was doing it. When you were doing it. When I was saying it, nobody. They would all like this. All they go, them. Paul Mooney's how he shouldn't all be saying that. Should, I don't say it. Let me work all of that. The minute that I said I, I wasn't going to say it anymore, they all jump it. ship. They, yep, jump they, ship. They all no. They all want to say it. They, they all want to say it. But it's, like, let me ask you a question, Paul. And I don't want to make this into a, I don't want to make this into a big racial deal. But I mean, is it a is it a big deal if a black guy says it? Listen, that, I'm just asking you. That word is older than anybody in this room. Yeah. Okay. By far. All right. By far. Okay. That word has been used and used and used. But if a black used. guy uses it as a term of endearment, is it wrong? But that's <laughs> listen. This is what it amounts to. If you barbecue uh, a dog. Or if you saute it, it's still a dog. It doesn't right. make it something else. Right. It's what it is. I was at the. I was the ambassador for the word. Okay? Yeah, you're credited I, with I the use phrase. That word. All of it. I use that word. Yeah. I mean, when they, when they, when everybody was terrified. You got to remember. Let's take it all back to comedy. What comedy was before? Before I even started doing stand up, comedians white, black, green, or yellow. We're in this little box. They were all afraid, okay? Right. All right? I sort of went into the lion's den. They used me to go into the den to see what could you get away with, right. okay? Right, If I hadn't have did stand-up, stand-up would be different. Right. Okay, so Richard and I both used that word. We did it. A lot. Okay, a lot. Uh, Dick Gregory was the first comedian to write a book about the N-word. He wrote a book about the N-word. Right. He said, if you say it, you're publicizing my book. 
That was his joke, okay? Right, right. Richard Pryor was the first stand-up to say, don't use the word. He went to Africa. He said it wasn't in the African language. He didn't see any in people in Africa. He wasn't going to do it anymore. Now, right? it's not in the African language. But, no. So he said- so Let me he, ask you a question, yeah. Paul. And I'm 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 going to show my yeah. ignorance. I'm going to show no, you my sorry, I'm going to show you my ignorance. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be. I'm going to show you that I don't know much about African American history. Okay. But where was the word derived from? Was it derived from came, the South and from? No, it the, came, it came from some. It, it, it has a strange meaning to it. It came from the Egyptians, really. Right. Yeah, and it, it translation and but actually, in America, it came from the black man that wouldn't work. Oh, okay. He just. I'm not going to work. I thought David Duke was the first to say. <laughs> <laughs> David no, Duke's not that yeah. bright. But that's, He's that's, a dumbass. But that's where that came from. But the whole thing of everybody clinging to this word, trying to use the word, trying to hold on to it. I mean, I understand. Look, Richard understood, too. Richard's famous joke is, let me check my dick and make sure the white man hasn't taken that. That's, that's a very funny joke. Right. Because you're taking everything from me. So since the word has been in the rap, in, in the black neighborhood, it, it don't take something from me that I have that you've used negative, that I've made positive. It's creating this illusion about the word. My decision, see, when Richard said it, Richard was my best friend. Right. Now, if my best friend, I couldn't convince me not to say it, okay? They say to me. So he wasn't saying it, and you still were. Yeah, and Richard I'm, came to you and said. I've been to Africa. Said, Paul. Yeah. Don't use it no more. Yeah. Said, uh, Your so, best buddy. No, no. He just said he wasn't going to use it. Oh, okay. You have to make the, I can only be responsible for what Paul says. Right. I can't be responsible for what it, someone else says. Right. And I don't care. It doesn't affect me. Or what it, I'm not affected by what someone else says. The right. words never bother me. Well, this, I'm from the South. Well, there's somebody black, there's somebody white says it. It's never created this, this thing with you're calling me this, you're calling me that. Because human beings lie. Lizzie Barden could be your mother. And you as a human being would say, no, she was my next door neighbor to cover your family, right, to lie. Right, right. Barbara Walters yeah. lied. Okay, I'm saying Barbara Walters lied about uh, to, to Howard's face that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that she didn't he, fuck Richard. Because you broke, you broke that on this story. <laughs> you broke that on He told us last year. Yeah, yeah, he told us last year. No, part. Howard no. asked her. Howard asked her. I know that bitch lied. I don't, no, she said, I'm not going to answer that. It's un, it's an unprofessional question. No, no, I, I heard it. She yeah. said she said she did not yeah. sleep with Richard Pryor. No, no, I heard it. No, no, she, two weeks later she said it. She, oh, at oh. first she said she wasn't going to answer it. Right. And my grandmother said, believe him the first time. <laughs> Whenever you ask somebody something, believe them what they say the first, first time, time. When they have two or three days to think about and it. Publicists and, and, and spin and, and, control and yeah. all that bullshit. And spin okay. meisters one through eight get, get a hold no, of them. So I want to tell you about DNA. So see, DNA doesn't lie. Right. So they DNA'd already. The scientists DNA'd 80,000 years, okay? They went back, and they found out that everybody comes from Africa. Everybody. I don't care who you are. That's where everybody comes Did from. Did you see that thing on 60 Minutes uh, a couple weeks ago? About they, genealogy? About was, genealogy. Was and they awesome. had this, they had this uh, African-American woman, this black woman from uh, Man Manhattan, and she was uh, uh, a, a spiritual music school teacher, choir yeah. teacher and, and was great, man. Really, really positive woman. Had her shit together. You know, older guy, like in the 50s, but just got her shit together and uh, and so there they showed this old this this white boy this old From missouri missouri a rancher. a rancher just you know as hayseed you know honky tonk <laughs> as you could get and they did a genealogy deal and they were related like only like within a separation of a couple of uncles and and she was like no way and he was like no way and they actually met and became real close but if if they were asking this good old boy, he'd like, there's no way I'm related to a black girl. And there's no way. Not, and then she was like, there's no way I'm related to some honky tonk rancher. And it come to find out that one of his uncles, you know, they 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 were related and real closely related. So and then 60 Minutes got into where exactly uh, the majority of everybody at one almost all of us are related. And we none of us are, are any are pure racially at all. Nobody, nobody is pure. Well, that's the the DNA doesn't lie. Right. It yeah. That's what they lie. were saying. And yeah. they said the DNA can't tell you the whole story. It can only it only tells you a little small fraction of your story. Well, the Jews knew because the Jews say you're what your mother is. There was no DNA. And they knew. Right. And now, you, he, you are what your mother is. You're not what you're not what your father is. You're what your mother is. Now here's a question I have is they, when they trace it, they go to your mother's line. They go back to your mother's right. line. Right. Mitochond it's your mitochondrial DNA. Your, yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. your, your maternal yeah. DNA. Yeah. 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 So, Sloan, what were you going to say a second ago? Did you, did you lose it, or you know what you got? No, nah, I'm <laughs> serious. I mean, you know, I know Dick Cheney and Barack Obama are like eighth cousins. You guys, yeah, that's what, that? yeah, that's what, that's what. Barack I want to see said. those guys go to a fucking family reunion <laughs> <Yeah>. together. <laughs> and I always knew uh, Cheney had some black in him because if you realize, he's always showing up late to shit. <laughs> he's either missing. <laughs> And you know he a shooter, bitch. <laughs> right in the face. 
So we all related. We're I all hate related. Dick Cheney, though, man. I and with hate. the N-word, um, people often, this guy asked me last week, he's like, why is it black people can say the N-word and I can't? And I looked the guy dead in his face. I said, well, Reverend, um, <laughs> because that's our shit. There are things as a black man that we can't, you know, we can't well, say. Well, now, hold on. There words. ain't nothing. You guys, you guys. We can't, we can't say Jimmy Crack Corn. Sure you can. We can't say it won't, it, would, it would not be a big deal. If we you can't got say home it, would, it would kind of weird to see you say G. Willikers. Yeah, G. Willikers. That's, that's kind of <laughs> We can't say that well, shit. Well, sure Paul, you can. Paul, let me ask you a question. If, if, now, you say you're only responsible for what Paul says, and you don't really, you're not affected or bothered by what other people say. But let's say you're in a convenience store, a mall, whatever, and you see a couple of uh, white white boys who have embraced the African American culture and the hip hop culture, and they're throwing that word around to each other. Do you are you tempted to step in at all and say something to them about it, or no, do you just no, let it ride? No. Paul so just you just let, let go and no big deal. It has never bothered me. What, so so in your thought process, if you hear that amongst a couple you could, you young say, white you dudes, could, it's not a big could, deal to you. You can say it right now. It has no effect. On okay, me. I'm just it curious. Has, it has nothing to do with me, and mm-hmm. I like I like a little salt on my cracker. So say whatever you want. <laughs> 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 now, Paul is at the Tampa Improv, I think, two nights tonight, yeah. two nights on Saturday. And they, are they working you two on Sunday, too, Paul? No, it's three. Three on Sunday. No yeah. fucking way. Oh, there's three. Why Sat- a bunch of assholes. No, Saturday, right? It's two tonight, two Saturday, and one Sunday. So oh, five total three. shows. I thought it was three. Come I know on, and you got a, you got a I know there's a Christian show Sunday. Right. <laughs> yeah, you got whatever. A show, you got a show coming up, uh, a special coming up on Comedy oh, yeah. Central as well. I saw the, the, the promo for it. No, it's not Comedy Central. It's HBO, right? No, it's a C. Man, I saw showtime. it. This is why there are wars. <laughs> I, it's Showtime. I, I, showtime. Well, I saw showtime. the promo for it the oh, other night. Showtime. Showtime was, my favorite new yeah. California nation. What's it called? California Cation. Oh, man, show's fucking. Weeds is a great show. I know. See, Brent, I'm going to get through California, whatever the fuck it is. I'm on my seventh episode and then I'm going to go to Weeds and then what's that Dexter deal? Dexter is really good too but I don't know if you'd like Dexter. I like what I like Weeds. You love Weeds. It's all about getting high and screwing. Yeah. Yeah Showtime. Not Showtime at the Apollo. Showtime. (laughs) Showtime got their shit together. Showtime is really Showtime's really giving HBO a run for their money as far as programming goes. Yeah. Sure. Now is that is that a huge HBO get rid of the 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 woman beater? What's his name? Oh boy. Which uh, Chris Albright. The, I don't know who that is. That's what, he used to run HBO. He's the one that. Beat, oh, that's right. He beats women up in that's HBO. Oh, right. I heard that. Yeah, he yeah. Just, exactly. He had to resign. Yeah, he beats up women. He was in. Uh, he was in Vegas, and he had to resign amidst the the, the press conference coming out. Oh yeah, he oh, likes, as he a likes, matter of fact, he likes to beat them. Spice, where are you going to ask Paul? I was going to ask Paul. I, I, I saw in your uh, in your bio that you used to work for a circus. Is that right? I ran away with the circus. Well, it, what it was, was the situation with that? That seems odd to me. No, it's called the Getty Charles Circus. Yeah, it, is it that like was, an old-fashioned circus? No, no. It was. I was a. I'll go down in Black history. I was a, a first black ringmaster that there ever was. And because uh, you're so fucking smooth. Um, <laughs> no, but it, it was funny because all the drunks <laughs> are in the band, and the circus has like history. You know, families. They have families, and we a bunch had, of carnies. Yeah, we had uh, all the uh, animals that were ever on television: the cross-eyed lion, gentle Ben, all the all the animals, the Hollywood animals, and. Uh, it was just, it was a trip for me because uh, Doc Tari was real big then. It was a little show about Africa. And they used to think I was a star, but I'd sign autographs and get all kind of free shit on the road. And, <laughs> a lot of uh, white pussy? Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. I can't yeah, imagine you show. traveling with a circus. That just, yeah. I mean, it would it seem to me you'd, you'd be sitting back going, why am I, what am I doing? No, I just put my sunglasses on. They called me Hollywood. And I would just go to sleep in the truck because I was. Now, in, how many years did you do that, I was Paul? in the union. About a year. And it was great. Now, now, where were you? You said you were from but, the but South. You know where are you from? He's from, from Louisiana, yeah, from, right? From Louisiana. But yeah. let me tell you something. Seriously, they they really, really are bad with the animals. They punish them. That's why the animals so, will do it. So when you look they at like them. a Barnum and yeah. Bailey today. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they torture them. Yeah. We, I, 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 yeah. yeah. Circus. They tor- they so you really them. are not a fan yeah. of the circus. Really? No. I'm not. I don't no. take my kids to the circus no at all. They way. torture them. But guess who they can't control? Who? The chimpanzees. They can't control them. They'll fuck them up. Oh, they will. Chimpanzees will whoop your ass. As a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, you don't see chimpanzees in the circus anymore. No, because they are they are violent. They're like gang members. They will get you. <laughs> yeah, like what? Well, well, there's 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 some meme <laughs> all the time. I read these stories in these uh, in these in these other countries, and they're like, "Oh, the monkeys ran wild and took over villages, yeah. and really? killed people. Oh, oh no, my, oh, no, monkeys no, are no. forever." Especially ruining chimps. Shit. You know, no, like the chimps and the baboons, man. When they get they get Didn't some they battles. Then the orangutan has like a, 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 the strength of seventy men or something like that. I would whoop an orangutan. Orangutan. 
orangutan would smash an orangutan. An orangutan would kick your ass. A chimpanzee would kick your ass. Did you ever see that one thing was man versus something and they had this real big man versus beast, like 400 pound sumo dude, and it was gonna do it was gonna do a tug of war with orangutan, and they had this big fucking huge like Chinese dude, and he's got his fucking the thing the big rope wrapped around the thing, and they're pulling it, and they get this orangutan, and he's sitting there holding the rope. This orangutan is, and this big fucking Chinese dude just going crazy. The orangutan is just holding it, and when he got bored with it, he just went blip and and and, and 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 made the guy go right into the fucking mud puddle. If you you know a great book about chimpanzees is called Next of Kin, and it talks about in the seventies this this chimp, this female chimp that lived with his family, yeah. and she became almost human. Like she would make herself a martini and read Playgirl and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> read Playgirl or look at Playgirl. <laughs> Does, does a, does, did she have a pussy? Did she have a pussy? Yeah. Read Playgirl. Yeah. I wonder what, what kind of pussy does a... Listen. What, what, what kind of monkey was it? It was a chimpanzee. No, they just said a chip. They taught it sign language. Did you read it? Yeah, it just, it just died. died. It just died. It was 27 years yeah. old and had a vocabulary of 250. It's like, help me in sign language. No, it waved goodbye. This boy dropped dead. Yeah. No. <laughs> now, does a chimpanzee, Brent, does it got like a, a human-like pussy on it, you think? Um, It's close. You know, chimpanzees... I mean, do you think it was rubbing its clit while it's looking at Playgirl? Yeah, and they said the chimpanzee used to make herself a bowl of cereal and sit down with the family. I mean, it like... Slow, what were you going to say? The baboons... Uh, pussy is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> you see their asshole? It looks like it like catches me. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Uh, Slow just like, hey, uh, no, how many times I've seen that shit, seen that shit on Discovery Channel. Yeah, you sure you haven't <laughs> fucked a baboon before? No. <laughs> you ever go to the chimpanzee farm and have them throw shit at you? <laughs> man, they <laughs> huck all really kinds of shit at you. Yeah. You know where they're really missing the ball, man? Fuck you up. I'll tell you where they're missing the ball, man. Is the you know is the Major League Baseball? I mean, those baboons can huck some shit. We need to teach one of them to be able to throw a fucking curveball. Yeah. The thing is, that'd be, a, that'd be a fan getter. I'm now coming in. <laughs> I think, I think well, Disney made a movie about that. Didn't the Devil Race needs a baboon. <laughs> now coming in with no jersey. <laughs> Five foot two. <laughs> Comes running out there like this. <laughs> and fucking hucks a ball out of me. And then, I, then how about if he beats somebody? That guy's going to try to go out and fight a baboon. Yeah, yeah. Let's see the umpire trying to throw him out of the game. I would whoop a baboon. A baboon has razor sharp teeth. A baboon would fuck you oh, up. A baboon would whip uh, your yeah. fucking ass like Please, I would school that. Dude, I'll give an old three stooges I got. I'll get a chip in here to kick your ass, man. I'll take on a chip in the bubble gun right today. I want to see you fuck a baboon. I mean, that's weird. Try to hold a baboon down and fuck it. Oh, whoop his ass. Hey, Paul, let me ask you. It's Showtime special. What what kind of stuff do you cover in in your new special? I mean, is it is it like more political? Is it uh, what what's uh, what kind of the topics you cover in that? Well, the, the uh, title is Jesus is Black and So is Cleopatra. Know Your History. That's the title of the show. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about it because this is the first time that I'll be on TV doing stand-up for an hour. I'm usually on 15, 20 minutes the most. So I'm excited I about it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and now, now, was Cleopatra black or was she Egyptian, Middle Eastern? No. Don't get into that white man bullshit. <laughs> hey, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. Tell us right now. Egyptians don't look right. I really don't know the answer. So hey, Brent, don't them. get into that white man bullshit. <laughs> 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 he just called you a cracker. Cracker. <laughs> 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 Hey, Brent, tell us right now. Well, that, that, uh, her father was Nubian. She was, she was black. I mean, in Egypt, She's red boned. Yeah. In Egypt, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the coast of Africa. I know I know where yeah. it is geographically. Yeah. But they are. It's like people say, you know, I'm not African, I'm Egyptian. Come on. But, 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 but she's light skin. They, they are on the continent of Africa, but yeah. Egyptians are more closely politically no, and religiously no, aligned with no, the Middle East. No, Nasser, no, no, Nasser was an no, Arab. No, no. They're, they're, listen, the Jews are very much like the Egyptians because they held them prisoner. They're all, they, they're all like intertwined. I mean, they captured them and they held them prisoner. The, it, it, the Egyptians and the Jews... You know, they have this little thing going together, and it all kills me. Even Jews think they're white. Everybody's crazy. And well, they're, not, they're, not, they're not white. Jews aren't white? No. <laughs> what are they? No. What are they? Hell no. What, what are you, Jewish? Come on, give no, me a break. No, I'm, I'm redneck from Indiana. Yeah, that's, yeah but saying, come on. What the yeah, but is, but is Jewish a heterogeneous population? But, we define the, Jewishness by religion in the United States. Yeah, but get out of the United States. You no way, I'm not leaving this fucking country yeah. for nothing. <laughs> no way, I'm not going to Africa. I ain't going. I'll get my ass kicked over there. Do you do a lot of overseas traveling at all, Paul? Oh yeah. Now, what's your what's your favorite place to go? Where you mean it, uh, out of sight? Yeah, of Amsterdam. Amsterdam. He likes to go to Amsterdam and get some whores. No, that's not my favorite place outside. What's your favorite actually, place, Paul? The favorite place that I've been outside of this country has actually been uh, Harlem. 
<laughs> hey, Bill Clinton goes there. He knows the fucking good thing. He set up shop at Harlow and says, I'm here, people. <laughs> Bill Clinton goes, ooh, I'm going to give me some black bitches. I'm going to give me a couple That's sisters. I, 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 I figured some uh, I, I, I cigar fucked Monica Lewinsky. Now I'm going to get me a, a hot looking La- Queen Latifah. <laughs> that was the most random news story when Bill, Bill Clinton set up shop in Harlem. Everybody's like, what? Just now, now, Paul, what do, you think about, what do you think about Obama? I mean, give us your, give us your spin on Obama. He's too skinny. Right? It has nothing to do with his being half white or mixed or anything He's else. just too skinny? That's, too that's... Skinny. No, we don't like skinny presidents. We shoot them. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was shot. Yeah, skinny. Yeah. Kennedy, skinny. Kennedy. If you're skinny, we'll plug you. <laughs> you got to have some You got to have some, some meat for America. You got to have some meat on you. Let me do some commercials. <laughs> and I'm going to bring back I'm going to bring back with Paul, man. Love Paul. When I knew Paul was coming in today, but like at least we got somebody a straight shooter, man. No holds bar. Sloan as well. Sloan, you going to stick around for a few minutes, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. do whatever Paul tells you, don't you? No, nah, not really. Just my <laughs> probation prohibits me. <laughs> More of the Bubba Radio Network after this. Poor, uh, poor Paul says, what the fuck are they doing there? Actually, Paul, we're doing our second stand-up deal as a show uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, Friday, December 14th. And we're going to sell out an 1,850-seat place. That's ain't too bad, is it, buddy? What is that, Martin Luther King's birthday? No. <laughs> no. That's Friday, J- December 14th. <laughs> December 14th. Friday, oh, oh, Friday yeah, December yeah, 14th. Yeah, we, uh, I, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, they didn't want to celebrate his birthday. That's yeah. the, that, Who didn't? Phoenix? Yeah. No, well, the state of Arizona. Yeah, the state of Arizona. But they fixed them. Those athletes put it to them. They said, we're not going to come there and do nothing to you. Then they stepped forward. I, I love that. That's so funny. Well, they didn't, they didn't want to celebrate it? No. They're the only state to do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a they, bunch of assholes. Mm-hmm, total. So anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a Phoenix, Arizona stand up. <laughs> well, we're gonna be there. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Sorry about your Martin Luther King luck there, buddy. I, we don't know much about we, we that. We love Phoenix. Yeah. We love Phoenix. Uh, I don't know much about Martin Luther King's birthday uh, boycott there, but I'm glad I got pushed through. Good, good people there. Yeah, Phoenix. we weren't gonna do it until they did that. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we're good. To go. Once they did that, then that's when we signed the contract. Yeah, once they said, "Man, we'll observe that guy, that, that cool ass black guy." Like, Hell yeah, we're coming, bitch. Hey, Bubba. Yeah, I yeah. Was, uh, happy you guys left Marco. I was down there two weeks after that, so I heard it went real well. Yeah, we yeah. sold that bitch yeah. out. Yeah, I played Marco at least we, twice, twice, twice a year. That's Captain a fun Brian. club, man. Yeah, we sold out out two fifty, and then we're like, "Fuck it, let's take it to Phoenix." And uh, we did an eighteen hundred seat venue, and we've almost sold that out. They had well, dice you, down well, there, hundred bucks a seat. Yeah, I want Ooh. you to, I want you to find yeah. the Indi- yeah. Indians and let the Indians come for free. All Indians Native, come Native Americans. Yeah, they, there's, they, only about, there's only about five yeah. of them left. No, I think no, we can, one, we can, one, we can one, slide them well, in. So you know the, th- the thing about Native Americans. I ain't letting no <laughs> motherfucking buddy in for free. I'm not sure. We're going to trade you his firewater. Like, just like Paul <laughs> said. <laughs> Listen, they keep, they keep the Indians stupid. They, the, the Indians don't even know a Mustang's a car. So, so I want you to go help I don't know. I don't know if you look at if you look at a hard rock here in Seminole, it looks like yeah, the Indians exactly. are pretty fucking smart yeah. to me. Exactly. I like to have been wronged and got a sovereign nation with a fucking casino and horse. They can wrong. They can take anything I got. Yeah, never, never mind yeah, the my, genocide. Well, yeah. I mean, my, my great, <laughs> yeah, casino. Genocide for a casino. I'll take a casino all day. What's yeah, genocide? It was mean? my great, great, great granddad. I didn't know him. Fuck it. We'll wipe out 400 nations hey, so, and give you a casino. Hey, so my fucking granddad had to take one for the team, bitch. I'm rolling now. Yeah. <laughs> We'll come here, a place where you don't believe in owning land. We'll take the land. Hey, that's that's back in the day. Hey, We're talking about modern that. day, bro. I, I, I don't see you giving up your land back to the Native yeah. Americans. Yeah. I married one. You're married. That, that's, <laughs> my grandma, my and grandma. You're, and you're wondering to get blood tests so you can get a piece of that action. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> I know, I know what fucked your plan with. is. <laughs> I mean, everybody's been fucked with, right? Yeah. Fucking stop belly aching, bitch. <laughs> give me a casino with some whores and some oh, crap tables. Right. I'd be partying. That's right. Just give me a Waffle House. I'll be straight. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your reparations. Oh, 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 no. You think I'm going to be racial, but I'm not. I, can I tell you, I love Popeye's chicken. That red beans and rice has got me yeah. fat as oh, fuck. Yeah. I love that. Some of that shit's a little spicy for me sometimes, though. But red beans and rice, but there's nothing better than that right there. I love it. Love it. Paul and Sloan will you know be. What's funny? You know what's funny when you say that? I watch TV and I see all these white people, the chefs and the cooking channel, you know, all this. Far. You I watch said, that? I, no, I'm just, I'm just seeing it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, you know, channel search and I'm looking. I'm going, this is the weirdest thing on the planet for me. Because during slavery, white people couldn't borrow water. And now they're the biggest oh, cooks yeah. going. They're phony <laughs> bastards. <laughs> 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 so at the end of the day, any white person knows how to cook is because a black woman or man back in the day showed their ancestry how to cook, right? Because.
because we couldn't cook, you're saying. Well, they couldn't boil water. Right. <laughs> you, could, you found somebody white in the kitchen, they'd shoot them. I still can't boil water. Yeah. I don't know shit. Yeah, look, <laughs> but I've, I've never seen more cooking shows on TV. I'll tell you I've that much. Every damn channel here. And here there's no shows. real good-looking black woman out there cooking. Why is that? <laughs> huh? There's, we need a couple good-looking black women in there, like a Halle Berry they, cooking yeah, show. They don't, they don't, they don't, they they don't want that. They want them in the bedroom. They want them in the bedroom. Halle Berry's knocked up now. Oh, yeah, by the white boy. I yeah. said, I predicted it. Didn't we say that? Because all them brothers was treating her real bad. I said, yeah, white David boy Justice go, beat the shit out of her. That white boy go get her. That white boy who's, go get her. Who's the white boy that knocked he's a, her He's a model. He's, he's a model. model. Yeah. Now, who's the hottest black, Sloan, who's the hottest black girl in, in, you, in your opinion? I said, for me, it'd probably be, I'm a big Halle Berry fan. Ford. Melissa Ford. I don't know who that is. She's Remember the, the girl the that was on, is that, that Superhead? No. You know who the you oh, know who the hottest one I ever thought was was the black girl on Clueless the very first movie yeah. Clueless that bitch was hot. Yeah. And our Viv- Vivica A. Fox is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, nice she's looking. pretty fun. Sierra Rihanna. Rihanna yeah. is Beyonce. Rihanna Beyonce. is fucking hot. Beyonce. Beyonce is number one. She's bootylicious, man. She's, she's number thick. one. When you I met Beyonce up at Sirius. Woo man, she's slim. I thought person, you'd be like man. maybe liking Queen Latifah, one of the bigger guys. No, well, she's Paul is shaking his head. I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my head. Reduction and all that. No, because the most beautiful black woman is dead. She's gone. Who's that? That's Dorothy Dandridge. She's gone. I don't know who she is. Dorothy Dandridge. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a movie about her. On Paul, HBO, just, pretty Paul cool. just reckless eyeballed me. He got mad as fuck. <laughs> well, I don't know who Dorothy just, McGillicuddy was. No, no, Dorothy <laughs> Daniels. Of course you don't know who she is. She was. F- Drop dead gorgeous. And there's right? a movie on HBO called uh, Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. She's beautiful. It's really good. Yeah, she's, well, she, she's an old timer though, man. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to get you know. Even Sloan doesn't know who Dorothy Dandridge. Yeah, let's, is. let's go new school. No, Paul. He to knows, you. He's trying to. Sloan doesn't know who Dorothy Dandridge is. No, she, she, she was in uh, King Kong with uh, Charles and Heston, right? Who? Yeah. No, Dorothy Daniels. He knows know, who I'm she is. He was a king. I was like, what the fuck? She's dead. What about Liz, 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 Liz Taylor? Yeah. Liz Taylor. is 86. Liz Taylor uh, has a black boyfriend. You know that. I'd pump Liz Taylor. She's hot, oh, man. That bitch got five ounces no, of makeup on. She has a black yeah. boyfriend. He's pushing her around in a wheelchair. You didn't see that? No. Well, she needs to get long dick. That's why. Well, she says she's going to get some dick before she leaves it. Look, all those diamonds that Liz got, I'd have pushed her around. So, what are you doing over there? He's break off. Dick and Liz Taylor <laughs> in the wheelchair. Uh, uh, man, that pussy's so uh, that pussy oh, been man. beat up. You'd have to have a this, big black this is twelve inch cock to get her. Man. Ellen was on crying about that damn dog. I'm tired of white people and these dogs. <laughs> they love right. She was they crying love about this dog. She's that a she, pussy. Wait, that she adopted. Well, she was just and gave, away. She gave it away. You, it's like a child. You, it's not yours to give away. You got to give it back to the adoption agency. Right. But she closed the joint. She got on TV and cried. The, the place is out of business now. Yeah, you know what's bullshit too? She had her law, her publicist and her lawyer. Did you know this? Call the place and threaten them, saying we're going to go to the media. We're She's gonna, bad, man. I don't like then, that. No, bitch. here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Here she gets rid of the dog because the dog. It's the second dog. She had she got rid of. Uh, didn't I get along with night. her cat. Doesn't get along with her cat. And you notice she gave the dog away, but she didn't give away what she liked. She didn't give that pussy away. No, you'd, she, have, you'd have had to beat her ass to get that. Right. Pussy. Well, you know what? And, and they had an email from Portia De Rossi, email on the, the adoption agency saying the dog's getting along fine with the cats. So hey, I don't man, believe a word that comes out of that. That cat could have been the worst cat in the world. She ain't giving no pussy away. Oh, she ain't giving. You'd have had to beat her ass it, to get that. It could have been climbing the curtains, you know, scratching <laughs> up the furniture. <laughs> she said, I'm keeping the pussy. Yeah. I'm keeping the pussy. <laughs> that sandpaper tongue feels good on my snatch. When I put a little fucking, when I put a little half and a half on my snatch, that sandpaper tongue does wonders, motherfucker. I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, Sloan and Paul are at the at the Improv, Tampa Improv. They're working some brothers to death. Two shows today, two shows tomorrow, and a show and a show then on Sunday. Show Sloan, you seem to be the technical man. What's the show times, my friend? Uh, eight and ten o'clock tonight. Seven. And ten o'clock on Saturday and seven on Sunday. See, Sloan got the shit together. And Paul just Monday, shows up and Monday be funny. Monday we're doing a benefit for the uh, Janet Reno Fund, so you guys come on. Heard <laughs> 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 a big red truck. Heard <laughs> a big red truck. Hey, Paul, I can't thank you enough for coming by. I know it's early for you, my friend, but we love having you, man. We really oh, do. No, this is great. And the Paul new special and- on Showtime. When, when, is when does that air? Um, November third through the eighteenth. Now, Paul, do you any website you got? You got a website, paulmooney.com? They have all kind of shit on there. I don't. I don't mess with that white man's voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, the white man will give you. Hey, he'll give you some fucking dollars when you sling some of your hot DVDs. No, I'm, I'm there. It, just, yeah, it's just to know. It's just to I find mean, out where you're at. That's what. That's well, what you're not about. slinging nothing on there. I don't, they got all kind of shit on there. I have nothing to do with you're it. You're not making no money off that no, shit. No, no. I wouldn't have a cell phone. I'd, I'd have a drum. I, I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paul tries to play old school a little bit, yeah. but he's sly yeah. like a fuck. Yeah. When, when he walks out. 
Oh, here he's putting on his iPod <laughs> using yeah. his, his iPhone. Right. No let's hey, 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 That, 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 that bitch is flying like a yeah. fox. Yeah. 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 We gotta do a radio show on Sirius like like Stone said last time where we all sit around in a circle and just raise our hands and ask Paul questions. Yeah. Because he's flying like a fox. He likes to play old school in here. He likes to play. It's better for business to be old school. That motherfucker got a Blackberry, iPod, satellite. I wouldn't be surprised if his nipples are pierced too. Uh, 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 <laughs> GPS, <laughs> handheld GPS. <laughs> listen, don't listen, let listen, Paul Mooney fucking bamboozle you, man. Yeah. Pam, Pam, Paul Mooney will bamboozle the fuck out of the white man to get that white man. You got everything you guys have. Exactly. Got exactly. <laughs> Internet, white Bentley. women. He has <laughs> white women. He got white women. White women. <laughs> He's probably fucking Bubba Wallace, too. <laughs> Love digging that bed. Twelve and a half Paul Mooney inches in the fucking... <laughs> Paul, we love you, my friend, man. Thank you for hey, swinging no, on by, no, man. No problem. Let's get Paul. I don't know if Paul's going to wear any Bubba shit, but give him some. Oh, yeah, give, yeah. Give They're going to take yeah. him out there and get him some yeah. stuff. We're going to save him to the white people when he meets him out on the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I want to give him to the Indians in, in, in Arizona. So. <laughs> Paul Mooney, uh, three, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, and a show on Sunday with Sloan. I like yeah. Sloan. Sloan said, man, I'm, I got my cell phone right on my hip there, baby. I, I'm not. I'm not uh, it's not on. But I figure it's good. Paul's hiding his in his magician coat. (laughs) (laughs) In his old school magician coat. (laughs) (laughs) Look like a black David Blaine. Look at that. (laughs) (laughs) Paul, thank you, buddy, man. No problem. Good good talking to you. Sloan, as always, buddy. Make sure you make it. Don't fuck it up a good deal now. Stay on this tour now. Don't don't get on. Put on probation or fuck up your ankle bracelet or nothing like that. Okay? (laughs) (laughs) I mean. (laughs) All right, man. Paul, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. guys. Oh man, good luck to you guys. Love, you, Paul. Fuck, I love those guys. I love Paul Mooney. I love Sloan. Ain't so bad either.